Hello everyone, welcome to After Effects Lesson 1, Part 2. To summarize, in Part 1 we talked about the importance of organizing our media files appropriately from now on because After Effects is not going to be embedding raw media files like Photoshop did. We also created two folders on our external hard drives, After Effects Lesson 1, and then within that folder we created this folder for us demo, all in preparation for the demonstration that's going to come in Part 3 of this lesson series. But in this part, in Part 2, we are going to explore the interface of After Effects, and I'm going to go over some important terms and definitions that you need to know in order to have a basic understanding of After Effects capabilities. So with that being said, let's go ahead and launch After Effects so that we can start to get a feel for the interface. So when you launch After Effects, if you get any kind of pop-up intro or tutorial window, just go ahead and close that. We don't need that. But this is pretty much what you should see when you open After Effects. This is the default workspace. And by definition, after Effects is a digital, visual effects, and motion graphics post-production software. To repeat, After Effects is a digital, visual effects, and motion graphics post-production software. It works in conjunction mostly with Adobe Premiere Pro, but it is also compatible with Photoshop and Illustrator files. After Effects is mainly used for animating purposes, and I want to point out that animation encompasses more than just cartoon or Disney type animation. As a whole, animation refers to anything that has movement and or 3D, three-dimensional elements. So now if we look at the default interface of After Effects, notice that we have several main panels. Now first, let's start with our project panel. This is where our raw media files are going to be stored when we start importing footage. And as we move deeper into After Effects, you're going to see that the project panel also shares space with other important functions like the effects control panel, which we're going to use a little bit later on. Now, if you don't see the effects control tab at the moment, don't worry. I will show you how to access these different functions later on. So again, if you don't see this tab right now, don't panic. Now moving over to the right, we have our composition window or our preview window. And this is where we're gonna be able to view the edits we make to our footage. This is where we're gonna be able to review our final product. Now it's important to note that in After Effects, a composition, the term composition refers to a video project. So anytime you see the word composition, it's talking about a separate video project. Now you can house multiple compositions within one .aep project file, which is what we have here. And we're gonna use multiple compositions a little later on, so that should make more sense when we start our demonstration. Now moving over to the right one more time, we have info panels here. Now, if your info panels don't look like mine, if you don't have the same order, if not all of these are showing up for you, don't panic. I will show you how to access the ones that you need when we get into our demonstration, but just so you know that any panel over here can be hidden or revealed in the Windows tab. So if you notice, if I click on a line, it closed, but if I go back and I check it again, it will reappear. Also, a lot of panels in After Effects are customizable, so you can reorder them and uh, restack them, pull them out, put them in different places, um, so you can design it based on uh, how you feel comfortable. But for the most part, we're not going to be really customizing our workspace. We're just going to be working with the, def the default settings. Now, if we move to the lower half of our interface, first we have our timeline section. 
This is where you're going to be dropping files that you import into your project panel or your raw media bin. And you're going to drop those files into the timeline. Now, think of this section like the layers panel of Photoshop. So just like layers were the building blocks of Photoshop, the same is true in After Effects. Layers are the elements that make up our After Effects compositions. So without layers, a composition would be empty. It would be like this. So as you drop files from your project panel into the timeline, you will see layers start to stack up. And now the same rules regarding stacking order that we experienced in Photoshop also applies in After Effects too. So remember, the top layer is always going to obstruct or hide what's underneath it. Now moving to the right, to this long rectangular space here, this is what we call our workspace or our sequence bar. Now this is where you are going to actually be making your edits and implementing animation techniques to the layers in the timeline. And of course the changes that we make in this sequence bar are going to be able to be previewed in our comp window. Now before we wrap up this part of the lesson, there's one more thing that I want to point out. Notice as I clicked around to the different panels, a blue outline formed around them. Now this blue line signifies which panel is currently active at the time. Now if you ever find yourself unable to access a certain window or make a particular edit, the first thing you should always check is if the right panel is active at the time. Now this is going to make more sense once we actually start to put words into action and we start practicing with the software. So that's pretty much part two of our introduction to After Effects. In preparation for part three, there's one more thing I want to do with you. So I want to save this window. I want to save this file in the forest demo folder that we created together. So if we can all go to file, save as, save as, and now our save as window is going to pop up name this forest demo and then make sure you are putting it in after effects lesson one forest demo make sure you are saving it in the same place where you downloaded the raw footage files so once you got that hit save since i already saved it i'm not going to save it again and now we are ready to jump into our demonstration. So when you're all set, click on part three and let's start animating. <laughs> 